Well, good afternoon. Today I informed Brady Hope that he will not be returning as our football coach next year. And I had mentioned to all of you a couple weeks ago that we would be evaluating his status at the end of the season, and that's what today's announcement is about. So my primary intent today is to do this with deep respect for Brady, his family, the coaches, and all of those associated with our football program. And it's because of their contributions to the University of Michigan. This was not an easy decision. <coughs> you see, I believe the longevity of our best football coaches are tied to the intersection of the performance and measure of wins and losses with the test and expression of values that underscore their program. And everywhere I go, there is zero question about Brady's values. And I mentioned this trait two weeks ago to you. Brady's peers, both active and retired coaches, really respect him. And his players love playing for him. He's done a great job of molding these young men and focusing them on success in the classroom and in the community. He's really earned the respect of all as being a value-centered coach. We need more men like him in sport today. So you might ask, how do you reconcile the tension between results and values? And one could also make the argument that we have a very young team and we're about to pivot next year into being an extraordinary team. It has to do with making sure then that Brady has received adequate time to exhibit that arc of improvement that would come from his effort. And I believe that Brady had enough time to produce results and they're just not there yet. Therefore, I believe it's time to make this transition. Now, I don't plan on sharing more of Brady's performance review or assessment, frankly, because I believe the dignity of this conversation is for him only. My next focus is to make sure that this exit for Brady is handled in a first-class way with heightened consideration for not only Brady himself, but his staff and his family. Brady's a hero. He's been an employee in our university for over 12 years. So what's next? Well, I plan on starting the search for his replacement immediately. We want to build on what's been established by Brady. My message to the student athletes is that we'll work to put them in the best position to win and reinforce that their daily effort is contributing toward being champions. Their criteria for our future coach is defined in winning with the shared values of the University of Michigan. So I ask for your patience in this search process. It's not fair for me to comment on potential candidates today or the institutions or organizations they currently may be employed by. I can't compromise the integrity of our search process by commenting prematurely until we have that new coach ready to go. I believe that the head coach of Michigan football is one of the finest jobs in American sports today, and we will have great options. The University of Michigan remains one of the top programs in the country. Now it's true that the pendulum has swung into a negative. However, one truth in physics is that as a pendulum is in the negative state, it's always building energy for its eventual move back to a positive arc. My objective is to find the right coach for the University of Michigan, an individual that will recruit the best student athletes and put them in a position to win in the classroom, on the field, and in the community. This is what makes Michigan world class, and we're going to support that with great enthusiasm.